so we're going to be doing problem 12.3 from the fundamentals of chapter 12. And like I said, this, like, you know, we're going to um, exponentially get harder and harder problems. Um, so let's just get comfortable with all the kinematic equations. Um, in this case, you know, they give you a velocity that's as a function of time. So we can't really use, uh, or I guess, you know, we can't really use those equations that are just listed for us in the book, right? The one half a t squared, right? Um, we have to understand that these are continuous functions, so we can integrate them or take derivatives of them, right? So we have v s. So you know, velocity is this this change in displacement over time, right? So this particle travels along a straight line with a velocity of v equals 4t minus 3t squared. So we know it's going to be some parabolic um, uh, velocity, right? So it might, who knows, it might be like oscillating between point A to point B, right? And what else do we have here? Where t is in seconds, determine the position of the particle when t equals 4 seconds. And then x equals 0 when t equals 0. So in order to in order for us to get back to position right um, we have to integrate so if we had a position equation we can take some derivatives right let's say it's 4t that's our position function if we want to get the velocity we just take one derivative right and if we want to get acceleration we take the derivative of um, what's it called of the velocity, right? So this will just be eight, right? Because we just, you know, we can just plug in our position equation into here, or function, and then take the time derivative, all right? So get comfortable with this. That was just an example. So here we have, we're trying to work our way backwards. So in to go to from position to velocity to acceleration, we take derivatives. To go back up, we take integrals, right? So in this case, we have 4t minus 3t squared, right? Equals ds dt, right? And then here we have, you know, let's solve this. Equals ds, okay? And, you know, our limits are going to be from time equals zero, position is zero, right? Or this would be zero. And then when t equals four seconds, right? Actually, let's just leave it as t, and we'll plug in four seconds after. And this would be, let's say, s final, okay? Or again, let's just call it s. So this would be four t squared over two minus uh, three, over 3 from 0 to t <coughs> equals s or s minus 0 right so then our position function now we can actually solve the problem it's going to be t 2t squared um, minus t cubed right and we know that you know if let's say we had a, a straight line for a position function right um, then our velocity is you take that derivative here so derivative of some constant times some constant ax or some constant times some uh, variable right we take the derivative with respect to the variable and we get a flat line and we take the derivative of this and we get nothing right so this could represent the velocity and time this could represent acceleration in time right so there's no slope here right so no acceleration right so here because we our position function was squared right we know that our so sorry our velocity function was a square uh, squared function we know that our position function has to be uh, cubic okay and then we know from here that our acceleration is going to be linear right so yeah so let's just finish solving this this is just to give you some background into what you're actually doing. Um, so here we have t equals 4 seconds. So just plug it all in. 4 squared 
minus 4 cubed, right? And then this, so I, let's call it S final, is equal to minus 32 meters, okay? So we know, so it's, in this case, we had some cubic function. So you know, like, let's say something like that. So we know at some position, it might have been a, pos a positive position, but at t equals 4, we're going to have a negative position. I know it's kind of like gibberish here, but just to give you guys uh, some visual representation of what we're doing. So this is t equals 4. All right, so it, who knows what it, what it looks like. I, I think there's something, so, some, somewhat of what that graph looks like. But yes, um, our final answer is minus 32 meters. All right, hopefully this video helped you guys, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.